Hey, somehow after I got the Biontoys X16, all of a sudden my life turned into drones. And now Gearbest have sent me this little toy for big boys. This is the MJX Box 6, the brand new um, toy great racing drone, I would say. I'm very excited to have a look at its features because according to the manufacturer, the motors of this drone support thrust of each 200 gram, which means it's not just great for racing, but very likely it would be capable of lifting an action camera and likely a gimbal. But first things first, uh, we want to have a look at what's inside the drone and how it can behave. So let's get started. That little flyer impresses from the very beginning. Look at the packaging. I can promise to you it feels good, better than the buying toys, better than most Simas and so on. And that thing is meant to be entry level. If a couple of years ago someone has told me that racing drones would be as affordable as $100, I wouldn't have believed him. And here comes the Mei Jia Zin company. Not that they are here since yesterday, in fact they do have plenty of other non-brushless models like the iconic X102 and X600. The moment when they really got popular was the launch of the Box 3. I very much miss mine and still cannot recover it from the last crash. The problem is that the old ESC is pretty hard to find. Let's focus on the B6. It is significantly smaller and is meant to be a racing drone. With a maximum speed of 45 km per hour, that won't be the quickest racer, but it's great for both beginners and pros. No altitude hold, no headless mode, it is all about manual control. If you want to learn to fly, this drone will teach you. You will notice a lot of similarities with the B3, and apparently many things have improved. Batteries are different though, the 1800B3 battery has the same connector and same voltage and adding some foam or other sort of stabilizer would let you use it. You don't have separate ESCs, on one side this is good, you just replace the whole ESC board and you're fine. On the other side, that costs. At the time making this video, there was nowhere a listing with the ESC board, so I can't really say about the pricing. Build quality is surprisingly good, the frame is excellent, although just simple plastic. Overall material quality is very nice. The remote controller is very likely the same as the B3. Remember I told you how careful companies have to be when pricing is aggressive? Sharing components among models is a common and successful technique. When connecting the remote for the first time, you will have to press the red button prior to switching on the TX. After it's paired, you just switch it on and it works. And time for one of my favorite features. Let's switch off the RC. You hear that beeping? There are plenty of people that added a beeper as a modification for the B3 and it is here, out of the box, not sure if MJX are listening to their fan base or are just smart, in any case that is admirable. Time to confirm my doubts. My Bugs 3 may be grounded for a while but the remote is still fine, calibrating and yeah, I totally believe this would work. really curious to find out how this drone can fly. Um, one of the cheapest FPV racers, uh, actually this one is not even an FPV racer because I don't really have the camera on the front, you can purchase yours with the camera and with the display. Now, what this drone is capable of we'll find out. Let's take the battery on. Okay. And... Remote controller is connected. Ready to fly. Wow, that's moving. Yeah, 
When being brought outside, this drone flies amazingly. The small base allows it to be very flexible and taking turns happens immediately. No latency between inputs and actual movement. And this sound, just listen to it. The sound of something powerful despite operating at just 704 volts. I'm not a racer and my drone control skills are still following my improvement plan. One thing is to be said for sure, that is so much fun. Just hear the motors. The motors are again 1800 kV and I suspect they are the same as those in the B3 with just black coating on top. Each motor supports 200 grams thrust, which means that this little flyer can carry an action camera. The total weight with the battery is just 355 grams, which leaves you almost half of a kilogram of payload support. This is something I'm about to explore in future videos. I did enjoy presenting you the Bug 6. Special thanks to GearBest.com for the provided sample. This is one of the best places you can purchase this awesome drone from. At my end, I'm wishing you a fantastic day and looking forward to see you in the next video.